Hey everybody, welcome to the Tabletop Spotlight, the weekly show where I get to go over some very cool new products you can pick up this very weekend at your favorite local gaming store. I want to thank our friends over at Dragon's Zero Comics and Fantasy for hooking us up this week with the stuff that you can pick up uh, either right now or in the very, very near future, like Saturday. Uh, in that case, we do have some cool stuff, so let's dive in. Warhammer the Horus Heresy Legions Imperialis is getting its first major supplement. This is The Great Slaughter. Contained within this book, you'll find a comprehensive history of The Great Slaughter, a battle that would engulf the Garmin Cluster, and also the details of the Loyalist and Traitor forces that took part in that terrible conflict. On top of the complete narrative, this book also includes new detachment data sheets for both Legion Astartes and Solar Auxilia Army lists. These will provide you with some new weapons of war for the forces of the Horus Heresy. This book also has an entirely new full campaign system for linking Legion's Imperialis battles together. There are new rules for including maps to use in your campaigns to simulate the large scale of conflict on various worlds of the Imperium. And also included are full rules for fighting Legion's Imperialis battles that feature entire armies of Titans and Knights. This is exciting news for Legion's Imperialis players as it allows you to have full Titan on Titan conflicts. So if you happen to have an entire Adeptus Titanicus force that you wanted to bring over and use that because you can't find models for Legion Imperialis, this is a great option for you. This is out this weekend, so be sure to stop by your favorite local gaming store and check it out. This is a special one. It is Star Wars Unlimited. Launch your Star Wars Unlimited connection with these booster packs. If you're not familiar, Spark of Rebellion is the first and kicks off the Star Wars Unlimited line. It's technically not out this weekend, but there are a ton of pre-release events happening. The full official release will be next weekend, but... This is your chance this weekend to go to your favorite local game store, see if they're hosting any Star Wars Unlimited events, and start your collection. The Spark of Rebellion set features characters and content from the original Star Wars trilogy, Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, and Star Wars Rebels, the TV series. Star Wars Unlimited is a two-player game designed for two players to go heads up. Games take about 20 minutes or so. This one is from FFG, and it has a ton of cards available, so be sure to check this one out. To go along with the Star Wars Unlimited release, there are brand new deck pods available, and these are actually really cool. These new deck pods from GameGenic, while they might have the Star Wars Unlimited official accessory logo on them, these are super handy for anybody playing any type of collectible or living card game. They come in either single deck or double deck pods. It's actually got an innovative leader slot, which is basically a case where you can put your leader so you can see which deck you have without having to go through the entire deck and open the case. But what's also cool is most of this is magnetic too. So it's got a bunch of different sleeves and stuff that you can open up and kind of check out what's inside the box. Uh, there's even an extra drawer for tokens and accessories. And there's also a designated pocket for the base card that's always ready to play. So basically, this is everything you need, all in a cool, caring configuration, so you basically just open it up and start playing. Again, these do come in two types. There are the single pods and the double deck pods. Uh, and again, it might say Star Wars on there, but I can definitely see players uh, from all different types of collectible card games picking these up and using them for their decks. In particular, if you are playing, say, I don't know, Magic the Gathering, playing Commander, and you need something for your 100 card decks, eh, I'm just saying these might work really well for that too. Uh, these are again from GameGenic, and I'm really hoping that they come out with a generic version of these because the magnetic case, uh, as you pull it apart, it's uh, it's pretty cool. You know, in the past couple weeks, we've had a lot of games revolving around Victorian love and romance. Uh, this is not one of those games. This is Five Wards. Time to take to the streets. You'll be assembling your gang and stepping into the bustling streets of a booming Victorian city in this two to five player competition game. You'll be vying for control of the five wards. Recruit and deploy your thugs, brawl with rivals, and execute devious schemes to establish your colorful crew as the most notorious and powerful bunch of hooligans around. Five wards is a strategic area majority dice crafting worker placement game with some variable scoring conditions for a new challenge every time. Will your game make it to the top and become the world's next crime syndicate? This Victorian era gangster game is five wards, and again, it is designed for at least two players. It goes up to five. Games can take about 60 minutes, and it is recommended for ages 13 and up. Uh, probably because you're a gang leader, and that's not meant for young children or something. It's time to go explore a new world with Mystia. In Mystia, you will be exploring and gaining control of uncharted places 
shaken by bizarre forces. Anomalies bend the laws of physics and life has evolved in some very strange ways here. You'll be facing off against terrifying creatures and you'll have to find a way to survive the mysteries and dangers that manifest themselves on your journey. You'll be building and upgrading your forces, forging alliances, and also breaking them. You're going to be trying to do everything in your power to impose your dominion over these harsh and unexplored lands. It is recommended for 2 to 5 players, ages 14 and up, and games can run on the longer side anywhere from 2 to 3 hours. So be ready for a meaty game with this one. Well, those are the products of the week. And again, thanks to Dragon's Air Comics and Fantasy here in Austin, Texas for the bounty you saw before you. I am Adam for Bulls, and this has been the Tabletop Spotlight, and we'll see you again next time.